Today in cannabis news, Pennsylvania state medical cannabis authorities order registered producers to refile vaporized cannabis items with added chemicals for additional authorization. Statistics indicate a significant decrease in cannabis charges in New York since statewide legalization, and a New York state legislator sponsors a bill that prioritizes hemp-derived packaging. It's Monday, November 29th, and this is your Tricomes Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricomes.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your Morning Buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. First up, Pennsylvania State Medical Cannabis Authorities have issued an unusual order requiring all registered producers and manufacturers to refile vaporized cannabis items with added chemicals for a second authorization, an action that some in the industry believe may result in major production interruptions and lost revenue. As per Sunny Podolak, the Pennsylvania Health Agency's top compliance officer, the item reauthorizations, which describe every ingredient, must be sent to state authorities by the end of the month. If an authorized producer or manufacturer does not adhere to the mandate and keeps selling vaporized goods after that period, enforcement proceedings such as potential permit suspension or termination may be taken. Patient safety is of uttermost importance, a department official stated while articulating the action. Next up, in New York, less people are facing charges for cannabis infractions, highlighting the enormous impact of the plant's decriminalization in 2019 and statewide legalization previously this year. According to information collected by the State Division of Criminal Justice Services, only 116 individuals were apprehended on a top-level misdemeanor or felony charge connected to possession of cannabis or distribution from April to October this year. As per the New York Department of Correction and Community Supervision, 11 individuals were still detained in penitentiaries since around early October, with a primary offense of either illegal distribution or possession of cannabis in the first, second, or third degree. The figures, according to supporters, demonstrate the effectiveness of the Marijuana Regulation and Taxation Act, the statute that allows adults to consume recreational cannabis statewide. Last up, while New York readies to begin recreational cannabis commerce, a state legislator wants to make sure that cannabis goods are packed in a sustainable way. So she sponsored a bill that prioritizes hemp-derived packaging. Senator Michelle Hinchy introduced the proposal previously this month, contending that hemp is a better choice than plastics for the environment. Establishing a benchmark for using the plant for recreational cannabis packaging, she added, would also help firms in the booming hemp sector. The New York Cannabis Control Board would be required to develop strategic plans detailing the primary use of industrial hemp for packaging and labeling requirements to be used prior to the retail sale of any cannabis, or cannabis product to a cannabis consumer, according to the bill. That was today's buzz. Thanks for listening. For more cannabis news and insights from industry professionals and a place to discuss these stories and others, visit trichomes.com. And be sure to catch up with all of our other cannabis industry-related podcasts like Hash It Out, Tech and Cannabis, or the International Cannabis Conversation wherever you get your podcasts. For trichomes.com, I'm Devin Liao. And I'm RJ Balde, signing off. 